five points. So I'll set this up for five, starting at bore number one, and I'm gonna do this every 12 inches. My overall tolerance, I'm gonna set that to 1,000th, and bore to bore, in other words, from position to position, I want five tenths. So now we'll go to step two, which is down on the bottom. We just highlight step two. And here we can, we can determine the target mounting error. In this case, the mounting error doesn't matter. The mounting error will always be the same, so it, it, it's immaterial what the mounting error is. So we just skip that step. Step three, this is for bucking in. And again, we're all set up, so we don't need to do this. Now we're just gonna start taking readings. So there, I'm gonna record that reading there. Now I'm gonna move this target in 12 inches. Record that. And record that. Okay, I've recorded all five positions. And then I'm gonna click finish. This is gonna take me to the result screen. And I can see at the top of the screen here, my vertical straightness and my horizontal straightness are all within tolerance. I have the plots on the right side of the screen. I can show this relative to a best fit plane. I can show this relative to the laser beam. In other words, if I wanna look at this, what is my alignment like relative to the gearbox, this plot will show me that. If I do best fit, the best fit is the, the true straightness of the barrel. In other words, we calculate a best fit plane of all five points and draw a line through there and that tells us what the deviation is from that best fit plane, the best fit line. One and five are end bores, so we, you can, I can tell it bores one and five or I can do it end bores. Or I could say, I, well, I don't want to make this a zero. I want to make one and, and the middle zero. So one, two, I can make bores five and three zero, and it'll make, it'll pass that line through those. And then I can see what the straightness is relative to those. So I'm changing the relativeness of, of what my reference is. My reference can be the gearbox, my reference can be a best fit plane or best fit line, or it can be the end bores or two, two given bores. From there, I can view the data this is the data relative to the best fit plane. If I choose the, the laser and look at the, the data, it's gonna give me the data relative to the laser beam. We have to change the legs for, to put the target in from the other side. Keep in mind that you have to remove the legs before you can get the target out as you tighten the set screws into the legs, it pushes the legs against the target, so you won't be able to remove it if you don't take the legs out. Now we have removed the target from the adapter. And I'm gonna turn the adapter around, so I'm gonna put the target in on the, in the measuring mode side. And then we're gonna put the legs back in. And now we'll put it, the A510C pole back on. And now we're set up now so we can do wear measurements. This time I'm gonna use my reference bore. We're gonna do bore diameters. Because when you do this, you normally use an inside mic and make, measure this end of the barrel and see what that is. We don't really tell you what the diameters are, we tell you what the diameter change is. In other words, I can't just put the, the target in there and it knows what the diameter is. I have to tell the, the program what the diameter, the starting diameter is, then the program will tell me the different diameters based on uh, where. I'm gonna tell it here the, the, the vertical diameter is two and a half inches, which because we measured it and that's what it is, and so is the horizontal. We're gonna go right to taking measurements. I wanna take normal and inverted readings at each position because 
I, I'm doing this by myself, I'm gonna have to put a mag base on here to as, act as a fulcrum after I get for, past the first two points. I'm gonna take the normal reading. Now when I invert this, turn it upside down, put the cable on the top, and using the level, get it level, and I'm gonna push this pole up. That kind of locks the target in place. I'll record that. Because we're taking normal inverted at each position, it always starts with the normal position. So I'm gonna turn it back to normal. I'm gonna take it in 12 inches to the first hole, using the level, make sure I got the cable on the bottom, and I'm gonna record that. Now I'm gonna turn the target to the inverted position and record. I pull on the pole a little bit and I can feel that it's not locked in. It's very loose. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the mag base on here. This mag base is gonna act as a fulcrum. So I can just simply push down on the pole. Now I can feel that the target is locked in and I can record that. Inverted, push down on the pole. Record that. Now I'm gonna click finish. I have all my data here. This is my straightness data. When I go to the data, my bore diameters are there. Normally when you're doing these things, we're looking for large wear numbers, not a couple of thousand. So as you can see here, this barrel is pretty good. I have one spot that it shows two thousandths over that which could be just, that's just the accuracy of the system. So, in the same way, horizontally, if you look, everything is, is within two thousandths. So, that's pretty much the way you take bore wear measurements using this system.